So let's autopsy a dead transmission. This is the one that came out of our charger. And as you guys know, we're getting a charger ready for power tour because it's part of our get out into the world campaign for 2023. So first step is to get this thing running. But also, you know, we picked up the trailer. We showed you that. And then, of course, if you're going to go out to events, you have to be able to get around. So you need a pit bike. So I, I went and I picked up this. So Facebook Marketplace, 300 bucks. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a tiny, it's a Coleman... 100 the kind of you buy a tractor supply they're like 300 400 dollars whatever it is and then the guy that i got this from he's like a he's into these things he's into mini bikes so he swapped in a 200 motor and this thing absolutely rips he had a uh he had a 212 in it but he said that he, you know the predator motor but he said he couldn't keep the front end down so he swapped this thing over and uh it runs great 300 bucks you know honestly right if you're like if you're one of those impoverished hot rodders and you just you just got to get your gearhead thing going on, but you have no money, no space, no nothing, get one of these. The stuff that's available for them is off the chain. There's a whole global cult devoted to these things. There's even like street racing groups. You, you got to see the stuff. It's crazy. And uh, and to fund to fund all of this stuff. Look, we got hats. We got new hats in the store now. I know I hate doing commercials, but if you want one, we got them. So go buy that. All right, transmission. So we blew this like apart last night. And here were the symptoms. Here's what we had with this, okay? First start, first start the car, put it in gear, absolutely nothing. And then after, I don't know, 15, 20, 30 seconds and a little bit of gas, it would start to come in and then it would be all right. It was fine in reverse. It was fine in first and second. But when you hit the gas hard, third gear, high gear, it would just run away and slip like crazy. So we tore it apart, and I was expecting to find a bad pump. That was one of the things I'm looking at. I was like, okay, the pump has got to be, there's going to be something bad in the pump. So I took the pump apart. So here's, here's the pump. Now, I'm, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the big thing I found in a minute. But here's the pump, and... The gears, everything looks perfect, no issues, everything's fine in there. All right, so then I started taking apart the rest of it. Now, this is, this is the, front, the front clutch. This is part, oh, you know, I'll tell you what, let me, let me, let me explain this real quick. This is the part that explodes. If you ever, talk, you ever hear about torque flights exploding, this is the part that comes apart. And it comes apart in segments. So if you see here, the inside of this drum is keyed for the clutches and steels. So when these things explode, they come apart right here, right in this area. And each of these little chunks, which, which weigh a substantial amount, that's what takes off. The band surrounds this. It blows right through the band, right through the case, and then finds anything that it can impact. So... When they explode, that's the part that explodes, and that's where it explodes. All right, and that's also why when you have one of these things apart, especially with this one, because I'm going to show you the trauma I found in this one in a second, but when you have one of these things apart, it's important to inspect it everywhere. You want to make sure there's no cracks, there's no defects, there's no deformities anywhere in it. Any blue spots that would show that it, there was concentrated heat or anything, um, you really, really want to look these things over. And this one, this one looked okay. I looked it over last night, and, and I'm confident this will be fine. I'll just stick it back in, and, and we'll be good to go. But here's what I found now. On the rear clutch, everything was just hunky-dory, as I expected. But on the front clutch, I found that the, the friction discs are all burned. These things are all shot. There's nothing left of them. And the steels... Well, look at this. So here's here's the topmost steel that was in there. Under, underneath, underneath this one, of course. But look how warped this is. Here, I'll hold them together. Okay, that's just that's just heat. So this is this is 
obviously junk. All of these are going to get discarded now because they've all been subjected to heat. They're all dead. They're all metallurgically dead. So we're going to throw those all away. And I also found a crack on this one. You see right here where a crack was just starting. But now, what caused this? What, what gave us these symptoms that we have? Well, you've got that delayed engagement, but then once it's in, it's okay, and then it runs away in high gear. Like I said, I thought it was the pump. I figured it was a problem in the pump, but it's not. It was a problem in the gasket. Now, I actually, I texted John Cope this morning and says, hey, have you ever seen anything like this? And he says, no, but here it is. And this is what led to all of this destruction. So here's the gasket. This is the gasket that goes between the pump and the body. And if you look right here, there's a chunk missing. Now that chunk right there, well this, this here is the intake port for the pump. So yeah, look at all, look how, there's all the clutch material on the bottom of the pan. Okay, so the filter screws into the bottom of the valve body. Okay, and it pulls fuel, oh, oh it pulls fuel, it pulls transmission fluid up into the transmission, into the pump through this passage right here. This passage is this opening and this chunk of gasket that's missing is what caused all of this. Now I looked obviously there isn't a piece of gasket stuck to the case. There's no obvious reason why this would happen but at some point it sucked a chunk of gasket up into the intake port it sent it through the pump, but it didn't do any damage to the pump. I have found little flecks of black. Okay, like, okay, I just moved that one. But I did find little flecks of black all through the assembly. So that piece of gasket probably got in here and just got, you know, just, just obliterated in the process. And there's a, there's a million little pieces of black there, but no big chunks. No, no big chunks. So it didn't hurt, it didn't hurt the gear of the rotor. They're both in, in beautiful shape. They just need to be cleaned up and all this put back together again and a fresh gasket in place. But this is what was happening now. When you first start this, it's, it can't pull, can't pull the transmission fluid up if it's pulling air. And it was pulling air right through there. Now if you notice something interesting about this, you'll see that on this gasket, here's the imprint from how it sat. Right, so you can see all along here you've got a ridge. You've got a ridge at the top and a ridge at the bottom. And you know that this part of the gasket was firmly sandwiched in place. There was no place for it to move. But if you look right here, this ridge drops off right at this point. And then you see it picks up right at this point. So when the pump is clamped in place, this gasket really has no support like it does here or here in this area so I could see where a chunk of it would get sucked out of there. Uh, there's, there's fluid on it now but before I disturbed it you could actually see a clear line. There was a definitive line where the fluid was pulling through here but if you move the gasket out of the way it was a different color. But like it's, that's kind of obliterated right now. But that was the issue right there. That's what caused all of this. It was an air leak on the suction side of the pump. And in here, if you look inside the case, this is that section right there. And the piece of gasket that's missing is right exactly here. So, and I, I laid a straight edge across it. There's no, it doesn't seem like there's any defects or weirdnesses in this area. So I'm just going to chalk it up to, you know, a, a, a freak gasket failure. And we'll put it together, obviously, with a fresh gasket, fresh clutches, fresh seals. Everything else looks good in this transmission. All of the bushings look good. It says the pump is beautiful. The valve body, I'm gonna, I've got to take this thing apart and really go through it. It's just, it's a mess. Look at, look at all the material that's built up in there. So, 
this is all going to come apart. I'll clean out all the passages and put it back together again. This is this is as I found it, right? And look look at it in here. Look at this. This is all clutch material. All from that forward clutch. So I have a lot of cleaning to do. And of course, that's, that's the spring that you throw away on a torque flight. That doesn't go back in. And the rest of it is fine. Everything else looks good. So uh, that's it. New clutches, new seals, new gaskets. We put it all back together again. Stick it in the car and point it at Power Tour, wherever the hell that is coming up. So. All right. So that's it for that for now. And uh, next i got to blow apart the front end on that car because I've got a lower control arm bushing that... It, it's just, it was fine until I drove it up here and then all of a sudden it started getting weird and I could see on one of the torsion bar adjusters where it's actually rubbing against the frame now. So that's, that's next. All right, that's it guys. I hope you got something out of this and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye a hat.